today we're going to learn how to do a super easy line drawing art lesson. So the first thing you want to do is find a good reference image. These mystery grid drawing worksheets were great or you can use your own. You can either just add color and enlarge your design or we can add font text. So today I'm going to show you how to do both. Ready? Ready. So we're going to start with a watercolored background. We want to make sure the watercolor is light and not too dark so that you can see what you're drawing. And I'm going to begin the image that I'm using has three boxes across and three boxes down. So I am going to label my boxes. Label, 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 label. You can either work from the image that you practiced on the mystery grid worksheet or you can work from like i said any grid drawing so here i am using the cover page to help guide my outline so i drew lightly in pencil first and now i am going over with the thicker sharpie marker where the lines are thicker then i'm going to smooth out those lines with a thinner marker so that my lines flow from thick to thin and match the reference image the variety in the thickness of the line is what makes these images look super awesome. Oh! So you can pick an image that's more intricate and detailed, or you could pick something super simple like this little whale that I'm doing here. But the detail and the creativity that you put into it that makes these really look amazing. So that tiny little variation and that flow from thick to thin is what makes this image pop. So you can see I'm switching back and forth between the thick and the thin marker to get those glowing thick to thin lines. And I'm taking my time. This video is sped up and you can see I'm spinning my paper to get a better angle wherever I need to and just getting those really nice lines. Next, I'm going to use some lighter colored markers to add a little bit of detail. You can use some lighter colored pencils or you could even add a little bit of watercolor as long as you keep your paint really watery. Welcome, Homer, to our watery realm. And super light and use colors that you used in your background. You don't wanna use any opposite colors because then your beautiful colors will turn brown. So you can stop here, your drawing looks amazing, or you can add more. Well, I'd like to add one more. If you wanna go ahead and add some text and some expressive fonts and words to your design, you begin in pencil. And the first thing you're going to do is you are going to determine the path of your line. So I'm trying to follow the form of the whale and I'm looking at different kinds of text to see what kinds of font styles I like. I like that one. That's a good one. I've brainstormed a list of words. This theme for this project is summer. So I've brainstormed a list of words that I think of when I think of summer. Okay, summer, think. And now I'm following following the path that I created with those guide marks that we just drew. Now I'm going to go over my text in my thick and my thin Sharpie and I'm looking at a font reference sheet. I'll link that below. Um, that is giving me inspiration for the different types of fonts that I'm using. So I'm going over with the thick and thin. I'm smoothing out my lines until I'm super happy with my design. I am so happy. So that's it and that's all there is to it. Have fun and enjoy the process.